good morning of uh, Monday morning, uh, February the 12th, uh, from my home at the edges of the St. James and Peach. We are on episode 21. Uh, remember, it's the Seven Plagues. We already opened the Seven Plagues uh, series on um, Revelation chapter 15 and 16, or the first plague on Revelation chapter 15. Let me go back and start again on Revelation 15. Uh, the connection between the seven plagues and the ten plagues. Then I saw another sign in heaven and great and amazing, seven angels with seven plagues, which are the last. For them is the wrath of God is finished. So this is the last wrath of God uh, to revenge the enemies of God, his enemies, uh, the devil and his angels, his agents, the, his uh, the wicked angels that uh, came down with will on him, they were banished from heaven in Revelation chapter 12. And then verse 10, and then the human agents here on earth. We have seen, we've seen it in Pharaoh, uh, the agent of Satan and the people of Egypt. Uh, so they were judged. Even uh, we, it's prevalent in the Bible. We'll look into it. Verse 2, and I saw what appeared to be the sea and glass mingled with fire, and all those who had conquered the beast and its image. Ah, seeing those who had conquered the beast and image, talking about Revelation 13. Those who have the mark of a beast and they have uh, been the... Uh, 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 decreed and made a sun, universal Sunday law. Uh, and those who do not observe the Sabbath keepers, uh, they will be, uh, pre uh, be uh, prevented from buying and selling. Uh, this is talking about, so there'll come a time they still don't obey the Sunday law, then the death decree will happen. It, it says in Revelation 13. Uh, we'll go into it uh, in a later episode. So while they were given the death decree, which this is when the seven plagues will follow, just like the ten plagues. Uh, the ten plagues attack the enemies of God, the uh, and his God, uh, and then making mockery or fun of their gods, you know, uh, to God judging them. And then the Israelites were safe in their house, saved because of what? The blood of the Lamb. Uh, now it says, and I saw and appeared the sea of glass, and they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. So the song of Moses, uh, during that time when they crossed the Red Sea, is the song of the Lamb too, as we are going to cross the sea. Uh, when we leave this earth and six days as our journey to the universe of the angels. Great and amazing are your deeds, O Lord Almighty, just and true. Uh, I always say this when I discuss this. And I'm going to go when Jesus comes in the clouds and Revelation 19 to on our journey to heaven on Revelation 20 to go and sit down on the thrones as heirs with Jesus and all the blessings in heaven in Ephesians chapter 3. I'll be dancing just like uh, Moses uh, or Miriam and then singing like Moses because you know what? I don't deserve this grace and mercy but because I accepted Christ's righteousness. I uh, accepted him as my substitute. He died for my sins. And that's why I'm going, I'm heaven bound uh, with the millions and billions of people. And it says, who will not fear, O Lord, and glorify your name? For you are holy, alone are holy. All nations will come and worship you, for your righteous acts have been revealed. So these seven plagues uh, will be the righteous acts of God of judgment to those uh, enemies of God, the Sabbath keepers of the last days who won't bow down to the sun worship, sun god worship, and it's venerable day of the sun that most people worship on. The, verse 5, after this I looked in the sanctuary of the tanks, ah, the temple, just like the temple of Moses, of witness of a open, and out of the sanctuary came the seven angels. So in heaven, open again. This is the second time that uh, John has saw that he heaven to us open, the throne of God, and in the ark of covenant is open. So we are being judged because of the Ark of the Covenant. What is the main thing in the Ark of the Covenant? Uh, that signifies God, the seal of God. Uh, he created the heaven and earth, the seal of God. Who is he? He is the creator, the Lord, the Tambu name, the third, uh, uh, the third um, um, commandment. Do not speak in vain God's name. That's why Jesus told us not to speak. Christian now, especially in the HLK, they abuse that name. That's why I don't read the Pigeon Bible, because it's abusing that name. Instead of saying that Tambu name Yahweh, or some uh, 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 it's written Jehovah, uh, they should have written the translation into the Lord, Turan. Uh, that's how they respect the name. Even the, the Jew, you know, the Israelites, uh, they, they were born and uh, covenant people. They even respect that name. 
them. Just look at our Christians. They have gifts of faith. Jesus has given us how to, who to pray to. Our Heavenly Father, Abba Father. And the Holy Spirit comes and confirms with us that we call him Abba Father. And, and it was open. And out of the sanctuary came the seven angels in the seven plagues, clothed in pure or bright line, uh, linen and golden sashes around their chest. And one of the four living creatures gave to the seven angels seven bowls full of the wrath of God who lives forever and forever. When is the time? And the sanctuary was filled with smoke and the glory of God from his power. And no one entered the sanctuary until the seven plagues of the seven angels were finished. It's just like this. In the day of atonement, in um, Leviticus chapter 16 and later Leviticus chapter 26, once in a year, then the holy, then, then the high priest enters into the holy of holies in the temple. There are two compartments. No one really down with that. During the year, uh, the, twice in a day, you know, the 9 a.m. Um, uh, sacrifice and the 3 p.m. sacrifice, the lamb. Uh, all Israelites who cannot afford to go to the ch ch Jerusalem or cannot afford their sacrifice, uh, their sin offering, they just have to uh, kneel and face what? Jerusalem and accept that. Um, uh, that sacrifice. Uh, that's what it is talking about. But once in a year, uh, the priests do uh, do that during the year. They are allocated. Uh, we'll go into detail in a later on, in a, maybe at the end of the year. But the holy, the high priest only goes once in a year into the temple, but in the most holy. And when he does, that's a judgment. The Israelites know every year they have been judged. Uh, we, we already say our series. Remember, judgment is the everlasting gospel. Judgment is there every day, you know. Uh, who knows who your name will be? I don't know. My name has been called. I don't really don't know. But I'm I'm I'm, 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 I'm relaxing. I'm cool. You know what? Because he, when I accepted Christ, His righteousness is on me. So when God looks at me, it looks at Christ. Uh, the Holy Spirit is helping me writing the Ten Commandments in my heart, and then it's removing all the sinful lust of the body that uh, the Paul is talking about in chapter seven. Uh, but the wretched men, how can I do? Because they are conflicting. The law of his mind to follow God's law, law and uh, his body just loves to sin. Instead, the law of the spirit of Christ, that is the Holy Spirit, to remove the stating of chapter 8, Romans, to remove the sinful lust of the body. Paul says, I die daily. And in the first Corinthians uh, chapter 15, um, that, uh, uh, verse 31, and in Galatians 2, and verse 20 says, I crucify daily so that Christ can live in me. And it says, only once when the high priest goes in to do the judgment, when he walks out, the, the only thing that the Israelites see is it, that the temple, the Holy of Soul, is filled with smoke. Uh, and then he sends the, the scapegoat of God. That represents Satan who will be born for 1,000 years in Revelation uh, chapter 19. We'll discuss that later. Uh, so... Uh, yes. So when is this going to happen? The seven plagues? Just before, after the high priest does his, the judgment. Just like in the Moses temple and the Solomon temple. So when the Sunday law is universally decreed and then the death decrees is given to those who do not want to receive the mark of the beast, uh, which we say is the Sunday, the uh, sun god and its uh, general day of the sun. Uh, when it's not, they're not going to receive that, then the death decree is uh, happening. You know, this is when the seven plagues, because heaven will be what? Will be quiet. Nobody can enter the temple because it's filled of smoke of God's holy presence. Uh, now his wrath, the final wrath of all the 6,000 years is going to happen on earth. And, I, and then it's, uh, we already read that in chapter 16, verse 1. Then I heard a loud voice from the temple telling the seven angels, go and pour out on there the seven bowls of the wrath of God. So the angel went and poured out the first on his bowl on the earth, and the harmful and painful sword came upon the people who bore the mark of the beast and worshipped his image. Who mark of the beast is what? Mark of the beast in the Revelation chapter 13 of the first beast, the beast from the land which uh, kill the Christian uh, Sabbath keeping for 150 million uh, people, more than 150 million people from AD uh, 321, uh, three, um, 538 to AD 1798. Uh, so he pours the first bowl, the sword. We already see its comparison to Exodus chapter 9. The source because of what? The God that they were worshipping who? Sekhmet. Now, this will happen to all the people that have their animals, you know, the epidemics, they, they go to their gods. Uh, he will be a mockery to them. Uh, the, they're trying to kill the people of God, but they will be faced with the sword. So the people of God are safe. Hallelujah. 
Heavenly Father, forgive me for I must do it in Jesus' name, I pray.